We're out here today looking at a new pistol from Elite Warrior Armament. They're a custom uh, gunsmith in place. They, they build guns. They don't just assemble some parts. You know, like everybody's, they'll put an AR together and say they're a builder. These guys make the guns. And this is a custom high power they've got now. They've done some really nice things to it. Um, first, it's all stainless steel. This is a billet frame that they've cut this out of. The production guns are going to go in production. This is the first 30 use billet. The production guns are going to use uh, cast frames, which will be just as strong, but it will substantially lower the price on them. This uh, gun right here is $39.95 US, which is, you know, it's a lot of money, but for the quality of the gun you're getting, it ain't out of line. You know, you take a, a regular high power, you'll spend a lot more than that at a gunsmith modifying one. This one built from the ground up to be a stainless steel. It's a little thicker here on the front, so they can do some nice checkering on it. Um, they thicken up the dust cover. The, uh, they built this where it'll run off an unlimited amount of plus P plus ammo. You can shoot whatever you want in this. They, use, they, they beefed it up in parts it needs to, but still kept that good feel. It's like a Browning high power, which the Browning is not, uh, Browning's not making high powers anymore. They're not importing any. FNH is not making any. FM in Argentina is not making any. So as far as high powers go, they're pretty much gone right now. It's a, a pistol that's been in service for about 80 years. Uh, a lot of places, a lot of countries around the world use it. It's a, a dandy military pistol, but it's also a good self-defense pistol or target pistol. This is match accurate right here. You know, I've got some group picks. I'll send you pictures of the, uh, I think the smallest group was under an inch. The largest was right at two inches. So it groups really well, like for five shots at 25 yards. It still got the same feel. They didn't lose the good feel of the uh, Brown and High Power. Got some excellent sights on it. The sight picture on it looks really good. Got the round hammer so it don't bite, you, bite your hand like a lot do. And with extra safety, if you want that, got it on this one because I'm left-handed. The stocks are wood, really nice stocks. Trigger guard is slightly larger. It's high cut behind the trigger guard so it sits down in your hand well. They just did a really good job on making a custom high power. Uh, the, uh, check them out. Uh, best way, we'll put a link on here. They hang out a website, but it uh, uh, works off Facebook or you can call them. We'll have a phone number on there. And there is a, uh, if you're just watching this video, there'll be a full review on gunblast.com. Go over and read the specs if you want to. Sights are dovetailed in here so you can adjust them for windage. Um, they're real durable. Got this legs on this one if you need to cock it one handed. The way to do it but a high power just a good feeling nine millimeter pistol to me in my hand it's my favorite nine millimeter pistol you know it just feels different than the plastic pistols on the market the plastic guns are good they work good but a quality gun like this is you know it's for a guy that wants something a little bit better than just a tool uh, this is uh, something you can be really proud of but check them out elite warrior armament mm -hmm. Seven holes. Eight holes. Nine holes. Ten holes. Eleven holes. Twelve holes. Thirteen holes. Fourteen holes. Fifteen holes. High power from Elite Warrior Armament has run just 100% flawless. Done real good. You know, the, some of the early ones they tried silver sorting in the uh, the barrel bush, and that didn't work out for them because it, it wasn't as satisfactory as it should have been. So they're welding in this bushing now, and the next batch of production guns going to have a threaded end bushing. So that problem's gone altogether. But this one weld has been real solid. 
A uh, gun runs good, it feels good. You know, nothing feels quite in the hand like a high power, and nothing feels quite as good as a nice high power like a custom one like this. I've shot other custom high power before from some of the top makers in the country. They shoot well, uh, they feel good, but I've had none as nice as this one. This is just real nice, it's done perfectly. They did a great job on it. Uh, it, this one comes with three magazines, 15 shot magazines. They're steel magazines, Metgar magazines. It's, it's quality stuff all the way around. So if you're looking for a high power, you know, the or Browning ain't doing them anymore. That film ain't doing them anymore. So if you want one, something like this is a good way to go. Another thing I really like about this pistol, the trigger pull is great. It's just over four pounds, barely over four pounds, but just as crisp as it can be. You know, it's just a nice thing like to pull. You know, a lot of Browning's, they have a reputation as having horrible trigger pulls, and that's because of the mag safety in it. This does not have a mag safety. We'll fire with a magazine out. It ain't going to fire till you pull that trigger, and you got your manual safety. So it's plenty safe, but it doesn't need a mag safety, and this one don't have it. This shoots a Buffalo Bore Plus P Plus 115 grain out of here. Really comes scooting out of this uh, barrel on here, and it uh, gives good velocity. It's good expanding stuff. It's hollow point stuff, but plus P plus, this gun will handle it. Still comfortable to shoot, but it uh, hits really hard. 